and the champion. He's wearing the white trunks, trimmed with red and green, weighing in a 10 stone, six pounds, 14 ounces, with a 20 fight record, 19 wins, 11 inside the scheduled distance, and just one defeat. He is the reigning and defending British Waterweight Champion, the Pride of Methyl, the Pride of Scotland. Ladies and gentlemen, the champion, Kevin so sports fans and a Friday fight night sports fans, uh, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing for the British Waterweight Championship and the coveted Longstar belt. Okay guys, this, this is high. Anything here is going to be okay. Belt's high, okay. We've had your instructions in the dressing room. Remember, obey my commands at all times. Defend yourselves at all times. God bless. Let's do it. Touch them up. Second defence of the Lonsdale belt for Fife's Kevin Anderson, who promises us an outstanding display here. He believes he's moving upwards and will be too much for Francis Second Jones. Defense, the Jones ready for his moment. He's a decent operator, they touch gloves at the beginning. Respect between the pair. Is Jones good enough? Nine to two against at the bookmakers. And Glenn, he's got to fight the fight of his life, hasn't he? He really does. He's got to be very, very mature. And, you know, he's got to do everything he can to take the play away from Kevin Anderson early. It's going to take a lot of confidence to pull this off from Jones. Showed his heart and guts coming off the floor to stop Neil Sinclair in five. Francis Jones, but he was blown away in a round by Stuart Elwell. Just 67 seconds. Never saw the punch coming. And Kevin Anderson with a fast start. We want to get the hooks into Jones's body early. Well, Jones hasn't got to panic when he comes under pressure. Got to try and get his jab working and keep keep Anderson off balance. Right hands from Anderson, physically so broad around the shoulders. The narrow body of Francis Jones, already reddened. Again, a right hand from Anderson. Well, Anderson, who sometimes starts slow, starting pretty fast for this one. He means business. He's moved away from his young family, even his wife is expecting their second baby to train pretty permanently down in Manchester with Bob Shannon. Says he's fitter than he's ever been and more focused on boxing too, Anderson. Well, Jones has got to try and land with that jab and he's missing with every one so far. Anderson, good head movement. Trying to establish the range, Francis Jones. But even though he's younger, Anderson, he looks a bit man against boy in there. Well, he hasn't really found any sort of rhythm, has he, Jones? A little bit jerky with his punches. Tries the uppercut, though. Partially blocked by Anderson. Good move, though, from Jones. Anderson just waiting a bit now. Needs to be a throw a few more punches. Shannon there with Kevin Anderson, who uh, switched to the trainer of the man that beat him, Ali Mbembe, the only man, and now he spars with Mbembe, and he took that opening round. Yes, he did, good flurry early on. Just had Jones on the ropes, and then a nice right hand over the top. 
second round British welterweight title on the line. Francis Jones electing to stand in between the rounds for the full minute. Nervous energy about him. He's desperate to succeed here. But all the signs point to the strengths of Kevin Anderson. Yes, Jones just looking erratic, isn't he? In there, hasn't really settled and trying to find a rhythm. Has won 17 fights, Jones. So there's some quality there. But he's got to put it all together when it really matters. Only six knockouts on the record. Might have to suck some punches up. Right hand from Anderson here in the second. And Francis Jones caught in the neutral corner. Heavy artillery to the body from Kevin Anderson. Well, he's having to suck it up already, isn't he, Jones? Now he's come back off the rope, starting to throw, throw a few punches. Himself got through with a nice right hand. Glancing in his corner there, Francis Jones. He's got a big heart and he's brave. There's another body shot from Anderson. Brimming with confidence, the champion, isn't he? Yeah, settled down well, got a nice rhythm, letting the shots go. The defence is good. Very good there, just making Jones miss. Back to the jab of Francis Jones. Full of confidence in the build-up. Here's the reality, but he's giving it a go. Well, that's what he needs to do. He's got to make Anderson think a little bit. Anderson tries the uppercut. Doesn't connect cleanly. And there's a good shot from Francis Jones. Believes he has the arsenal. Jones. Well, it doesn't look like he's got the, the variety at this point. You know, he's game, he's trying hard, he's trying to push that jab out. Exciting first couple of rounds here. For there. Not his head, aim it for there. Right, and then left up the money, yeah? Don't aim it for his chin, aim it for there, and you let him there. Jab, when he drops, boom. When you Paul throw, Hamilton you out, stop rolling doing the talking. The Neil Fannin no longer part of the Almost corner. Well, this is a good barrage from Kevin Anderson. Just had Jones covering up. But he managed to cover up and come out of it. Franny Rat tattooed on the back of Francis Jones. His initial nickname now goes by Fearless. And he's come into Kevin Anderson's backyard to try against the odds to rip the British welterweight belt from around the Scotsman's waist. He's catching Anderson with a jab coming in. It was a short right hand from Anderson. Digging in though, Jones. Left hook to the body. Found its target. I noticed he was blowing quite heavily in between rounds already, Francis Jones. He's expended a lot of energy. Anderson trying to bulldoze his way through Jones. Well, he's trying to be cagey. He's trying to keep pop that jab out. Jones, Anderson for the most part avoiding it and coming back with good counters. Anderson can have his lazy patches, he can be hit himself and hurt. Young Mutney did it. Better for Francis Jones, putting a combination together. Back comes. 
comes Anderson. Getting a little reckless though. Jones is trying to slug it out with Anderson. That would be dangerous. Pushing that jab out. Maybe be beaten three times. Francis Jones. Almost packed it in. Heavy right hands going in there. That might have taken a little bit out of Jones. Stubborn and gritty Jones. Such a hard task for him. With the physical disadvantages right up close. Well, it's a game effort from Jones. He's not overawed. He's coming here to try and make an impact. They're desperately trying here, Jones, to get a foothold in. Right hand once more over the top from Kevin Anderson. Defence open of Jones. Differences in the corners there. Francis Jones has put so much into it already. But he's only landed 19. The computer favours Kevin Anderson, who's had the better start. And Jones seems to be proud of his effort, as he should be. But can he win this fight, Glenn? Well, not the way he's fighting. He's trying to slug it out with Anderson. That's a recipe for disaster. His corner's asking him to get back to the jab, try and box his way in. Just unsettle Anderson with a jab and build up points. And I think that's the, the best way he's got any sort of chance. He has got wins over Craig Dixon, also Jamie Coyle, both stablemates of Anderson. And he has to be respected, Francis Jones. But Anderson, he looked so good, didn't he, against Eamon McGee? He's had that experience of coming through the war with Young Nutley, a close fight with Joshua O'Kine. It's all in his favour. And Jones unhinged Anderson. Good short, sharp little punches from Anderson inside. The defence is not really that good from Jones, although he is pretty resilient. Yeah, guts are plenty for Francis Jones. But these are big shots from Kevin Anderson. It's almost like he's got him where he wants him, Anderson, and he knows he can drive through and finish this at some point. Well, he's just trying to pry him apart, isn't he? But he is game. Jones, you know, he's trying to come forward. It's a dogged attempt from him. Absolutely. One or two. Felt that Francis Jones might not even last a round or two. But he's still in there. And he's throwing punches. Targeting the body, Anderson, to slow Jones down. Good tactic. Yeah, it was good variety from Anderson. He can mix it up well. Left two from Anderson, bit wild there. Over to the counter. Well, a little bit of frustration, mate come into the, the work of Anderson because he's hitting Jones with good shots and he's still there. It's that spirit of Francis Jones. Well, these punches must be having an effect. Well, they've got to be. He's marching forward, but he's taking them, Jones, and he's getting through with a few himself. 
What a great repost there from Francis Jones. More British title action on Friday Fight Night next week. Ian Napper against Lee Haskins for the British Bantamweight crown. That's Friday, 10 o'clock, Sky Sports 1. Should be a good one. It's the British welterweight title on the line here. Coveted Lonsdale belt. Kevin Anderson needs to win this and one more to make it his own property. But he thought it was going to be easy against Francis Jones. But in terms of sheer grit and desire shown by the man born in Burnley and based in Darlington, he had another thing coming. Right hand there from Jones. This is the round where he shot Neil Sinclair in Belfast recently. But he is taking a lot of punches. Really good burst oh. of shots. Huge combinations from Kevin Anderson. And Francis Jones takes them and comes back with a right hand. What a chin. What commitment and fitness showed by Francis Jones, but it all must be getting so hard, so grueling for him. Remember, it's also hard for Anderson to keep throwing them punches. What's he made of? Jones showing great pride, isn't he? Absolutely. And he knows Kevin Anderson can be hurt if he can just find a punch from somewhere, but it's this Strong champion who's grinding him down. But there's some very good action in the ring. Tremendous burst of punches from Anderson, but you come right back, Jones. Better fight than we expected, Glenn. Much better. Showing an awful lot of passion and heart, isn't he, Jones? Yes, he is. And Kevin Anderson is rarely in a dull one. This isn't over yet. Left hook from Anderson. Seems to have the edge all round. Deep breath from Francis Jones. He's done well to take these shots, but you wouldn't think he could keep taking punches like this from Anderson. Good uppercut. Yeah, lovely shot inside against the taller man. Resilience from Francis Jones. And I'll tell you what, some of Kismo in there as well from him. He spits out blood. He's very tired already, Jones. But his spirit refuses to wilt. All right. To the body. He's fucked. He's absolutely down, fucked. Down, down. Come on. Right. He's fucked. You play the jab, you go to the body. You he's the jab. taking this. Come on. That belt is over there for you to take home. If you do as you're fucking well told. Get Excuse the, the language. His emotions running high in the corner. Apologies for that. But they really fancy that if he can stay with Anderson, he could. I mean, it would be impossible, wouldn't it, to come back from this? Well, you'd think so. He took a lot there, but it didn't affect him. He come firing back straight away. There he had to take a big right uppercut, but he's still looking to come forward. He really, really believes he can win this. Hey. No, boxing, he was more, behind he's he's busy, busy, against busy, Neil busy, Sinclair busy, and also busy, busy, against busy, Craig Dixon. He rallied. There's something in the Francis Jones tank in the armory. He wants this so very, very badly. And he's put up a heck of a challenge already. But in terms of rounds, one-sided though, Glenn. Yep, that's uh, the thing, Adam. He's not winning the rounds. So although he's putting up a sterling effort, you know, he's not winning rounds, he's not scoring points. And, you know, that's tough.
Johnson still looks fresh. Bob Shannon really works his fighters so very hard. Said there'll be a 20 to 30 percent improvement this time, Anderson. I suppose you're right, Glenn. There is the chance of him becoming frustrated, annoyed at the nuisance that Francis Jones is causing him. Yeah, that's always a, a danger. He's got to keep his own concentration. No, he's got to stay focused, keep to the job in hand. Body shot from Jones and the other side. Impressive. Again, more power back from Anderson. Those right hands have got to start to take the, its toll. You know, he's taking some full-blooded shots. And again, but Jones stays on his feet. Breathing a little heavier, though. Feet flat-footed. He's just electing to stand with Anderson. I think he feels that's the only chance he's got. We've seen Francis Jones many times before. I don't think we felt he could put this sort of a challenge up against Kevin Anderson. Coming up to the halfway point. The jab stopped him in his tracks there, then the, the right hand steadied him. Right hand from Jones. The lack of knockout power, a problem. Just marauding Anderson. But Anderson looking very cool on the, the defense. Just showing his boxing skills here as well. Good counters. Making Jones miss, then coming back. Showing he's a more rounded fighter now. Yes, he hasn't had as many fights as Francis Jones, but they've all been at a, at a higher level, in better class. And he must have won every session. Stop looking for the big shots on his head. Yeah, get a drink. Well, they are jab. not. Get a bluff. I don't bluff. believe he's working hard he enough needs here. A jab. Jab, jab, but jab he is working so hard, Francis he Jones, he couldn't do anymore. No. He's trying his best, isn't he? But, you know, he's not winning anything. He's not winning the rounds. You wouldn't think he's going to outlast Anderson. Anderson was cool in that round. Got on his boxing a little bit. Take some good bring counters. Up through the middle. He's trying to go with his head on the side. Time. Bring him up through the middle. And get the right hooks going. But keep the head moving. Make him miss all the time. Make him miss Kevin. Pretty composed in the corner there, Bob Shannon. Second His gym suffered a bad loss when uh, Andy Morris was knocked out by John Simpson last week. A touch glove has been a really good and entertaining first half of this British welterweight championship. One sided, maybe, but a good fight in terms of the commitment of these two, especially, I'd say, for Francis Jones. Well, he's winning all the rounds, Anderson, but every round's competitive. And Jones trying hard in every round, making it entertaining. Gun shield out. Anderson follows up with an uppercut. Francis Jones wants it straight back in. He says he's all right. I mean, they have whipped him into shape for this, Glenn. Yeah, he's obviously worked very, very hard on his conditioning. Just the style, he can't keep that together. You know, he hasn't got the, the technique to use that jab to better effect. He watched tapes of Kevin Anderson's fight with Young Butley and said he believed that Anderson was outboxed for a lot of that. And although he came back from the brink, he was a bit lucky. Well, if Jones comes back from what's happened so far, it would be an incredible story. But Kevin Anderson now, a burst of punches.
and he's cut as well Francis Jones to add to the problems by the right eye. How much more can he sustain? Valiant attempt, but he's just running in the shot. A little bit too brave for his own good now. Francis Jones. The Scottish crowd are singing. The two fighters open up. Anderson had to take one there. Really enjoying this, Glenn, but how much more should Francis Jones have to take in there? Well, you know, he's still competitive, he's still coming forward, he's still throwing shots, so he's still got a chance to land a big one. Michael Marsden looking on, more concern in the red corner. And Francis Jones been a very hard round, he was nearly taken off his feet, but back he comes! Astonishing here from Francis Jones, what an effort, what a challenge. Well, he even hurt Anderson a little bit with those few punches. This is the first time I've seen Anderson just looking a little more tired. He's got to suck it up. Clash calls the cut. And the British rules, it doesn't matter, it will be stopped. And Anderson would be the winner if it comes to that. But this is dramatic, this seventh round, and Francis Jones is just flying, absolutely flying. How on earth is he? Well, he's drawing Anderson into a fight. He thinks he's strong enough to win that. Absolutely exhausted, and this time they put him on his stool. Get right back, get right back. Michael Marsden in there to work on the cut. Get away, don't get in there, in his eye. The tank looks empty, Glenn, almost. Well, it really does, but that was a superhuman attempt, wasn't it, in the seventh round? He bobs, he weaves, takes a few punches, but then comes right back with a right hand, and for the first time, he actually hurt Anderson. And then he wouldn't let up. He kept throwing the big shots. Look at the, the effort etched on his face. He really wants oh. this. Shows what the British title means. The coveted Lonsdale belt. Francis Jones surely getting that round. And it must still have taken a great deal out of him. They touch gloves. Kevin Anderson. I mean, he must have huge admiration for Francis Jones in there. And was he getting a little arm weary himself? Well, I'm sure Anderson has gained the respect of Jones and vice versa. They're putting on a tremendous fight here. Left jab. Rocking the head back, right hand. Clean through. Blood to the mouth to the Francis Jones. Still he comes forward. Well, he really is going to test the chin, test the heart, test the strength of Kevin Anderson, isn't he? He's somehow trying to outlast Anderson, and he's having some good spells in the seventh and eighth round here. Anderson looks very tired himself. He's thrown an awful lot. Somehow, Francis Jones keeps coming forward. That cut looks bad. It's blood to the nose as well of Jones. They have worked at such a pace. Terrific intensity. Oh, I forgot. That's what he needs to do now. Anderson can serve his energy, pick the punches more. Showed his new boxing skills against Eamon McGee. 
so many times during this fight but then he keeps coming forward they say he's fearless his new nickname's fearless he show, he's certainly showing that quality quality we have to remember has been with Kevin Anderson for the most but sometimes what you remember about fights is more than that and it's about what a boxer commits well he said he was gonna go out here and try and win give it everything thought he could just pull the title away from Anderson he's doing everything he possibly can to do that four rounds to go great battle here for the British welterweight title the red and white of Francis Jones, the challenger from Darlington, 26 years of age, and putting everything into it. Kevin Anderson, desperate to hold on to this British title. He lost the Commonwealth belt in this ring to Ali Mbembe. He won't want to lose the domestic crown too. Good right hand from Anderson. So many times he's landed that punch. You thought he would have buckled by now, Jones, but he takes the shot well. I mean, when he got in the ring, Francis Jones, he was looking thin, almost brittle. But what a chin and what resistance he's shown as he comes on again and gives Anderson some back. Well, it just shows you what you can do with guts and heart and conditioning. So he hasn't got the technical skills, but he wants it. He really wants it. I was talking to Matthew Hatton earlier in the week, who's fought Francis Jones a couple of times, one draw and one Hatton win, and he, he thought it was an easy night for Kevin Anderson. It hasn't been. Well, you said it earlier, Adam, the shot in the title, the British title, brings the best out of people. Well, fighters really want this. That jab giving Francis Jones trouble. The right hands almost all the way through this. Now he's getting his left hook going too, Anderson. And just for the first time, Francis Jones looks at Victor Lachlan for a mini respite. Is that a sign? Body shot from Anderson. But he's still going forward, still trying to throw punches. Anderson needs to sell, needs to pick his punches more, because he is wide open, Jones. Chasing, hunting Kevin Anderson down. Won't let him have a moment's respite, but solid and sensible from Anderson here, who did that very well. Yeah, just showing a little bit of his ability, just moving on the back foot, using his boxing. Well, this is really good, isn't it? Crowd 
are absolutely enthralled at what they're seeing. Plenty ahead as well on Friday fight night. Great Celtic super middleweight title clash between Stevie Maguire and Nathan King. Excellently matched, these two. We've also got Willie Billen up against Alex Spitko. Good action for you later on. Come on, Fanny, you've got to dig deep. We'll start digging deep. Come on, show me how much you want this belt. You've got yes. to dig on, deep, to they're saying in the corner. I mean, he's gone to the Make bottom of his soul and back, hasn't he? It's a little bit of an understatement, isn't it? Make him worse, get him off his comfort zone. Stop walking around like a punchback. Got to remember, he's from County Durham, Adam. They bring them hard. Tenth round. Victor Lachlan just at clearing out the Jones corner. Once more, they touch gloves. This is the session where Kevin Anderson came back and dramatically stopped Young Mutley in the summer of last year. It's probably the domestic battle. Along with uh, Jamie Moore and Matthew Macklin of 2006. Using the jab, he's got to use his defense, Anderson. He's got to allow Jones to waste those punches and then come back with counters. Again, a cluster from Anderson. He gets a round of applause from his corner for trying to go down and test the body again of Francis Jones, who's campaigned for a lot of his career at light middleweight. But here he comes, Francis Jones, and Anderson suddenly looked distressed by that. Yep, on the back foot with them long right, right hands land. Oh, Anderson nice buckle there, right goes. hand from Francis Jones. Jones goes down, but it's not a knockdown. And just when he was on top, it's been counted by Victor Lachlan. Not sure that was, but it's been counted. And just when Jones seemed to be getting a slight ascendancy, that happens to him. Yeah, I don't think that was fair. I think he was just trundled over. Certainly wasn't hurt. Big smile across his face. A gulp of air from Jones. Mentally, that really might be the thing that Kevin Anderson needed. But again, Jones gets through with the right hand. And Anderson just troubled by one or two of these. This is extraordinary. Oh, Anderson. Big punches raining in. A great tenth round. 30 seconds to go, and it's been an epic one. Well, the noise is absolutely deafening here. People on their feet, thoroughly enjoying this. Both of them desperately tired. You just think a big shot from either one. It could be the end. Anderson on top again. Absolutely. But the bell goes, and Francis Jones is rescued. They're firing him up in that corner. You've got to keep it going like that. Don't drop off. Can he keep it going? Two rounds, Francis. We've got two rounds. Come on. Six minutes to take the belt off him now. Come on, go out and get it. There's Anderson being hurt, and Jones, for a minute, seemed to be on the verge of doing what Anderson might have done to Mutley until this. He did. He just thought it was all going to fall apart from Anderson at this point, looking very tired, and then just to slip, he just turns on his feet. You could tell he wasn't hurt. Anderson starts to come back, starts to regain his strength through some heavy shots towards the end. Almost 10 seconds. And because Jones was counted, even though it was a slip, it seemed to take some momentum away from him. Well, he was still bundled over, you know, and that just 
dizzies you a little bit, just unsettles you. Only six minutes to go. What an enjoyable, entertaining, hard-fought and gruelling British welterweight title defence for Kevin Anderson against this grimly determined Francis Jones who has put on the fight of his life. We said he needed to, he might not win it, but he's done that, Glenn. Well, he's gained an awful lot of respect. Whatever happens from here, Francis Jones, proven a lot of heart, good chin, loads of desire. Maturity, discipline, ability-wise, just Anderson, that bit more than Jones. Good jab and another cut. Oh, Jones nearly went there, but again, his feet grip the canvas, and he fires back. Just a wilt there, a grimace from Anderson, who turns to look at his corner. He must want this oh. over, and there's an uppercut from Francis Jones here in the 11th. And Anderson comes back with one, but he's got to suck it up. Well, this is punch for punch in the closing stages, isn't it? Another very, very good round. In 19 wins, Anderson. More power possessed, but at this stage, it's down to stamina. Francis Jones has taken so much through the course of this contest. Well, if Anderson ever thought he could rest on his laurels a little bit. Francis Jones just shows him how tough a game this is. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 championship rounds of boxing, the judges' scorecards read as follows. Judge Victor Lachlan scores a contest 110-119. Judge John Keane 111-118. Judge Ian John Lewis 110-117. All three judges are in favour of... And still... The British Welterweight Champion from the Kingdom of Fight Scotland, Kevin Anderson. No ifs and buts. Very and big margins and on the cards. Bigger than Glenn and I had at ringside, I must say. But Kevin Anderson, career. the best night of his career, Hayman, he's still the Mabin. British Welterweight Champion. And now to present the coveted Lonsdale belt. Glory, and glory now then for Scottish boxing. Kevin Anderson retaining his title with that points victory over Eamon McGee. We'll get the uh, thoughts. Of